On. All right, our last question centres on the match between Collingwood and Port Adelaide, a game where Scott Pendlebury will become the most capped Magpies player and skipper of all time. It's going to be a really significant evening for him, Dal. And yep. So given all of that, is he the Magpies' best player of all time? Well, of course he is. It's a simple question. It's a simple answer. Scott Pendlebury is the greatest pie of all time. Now... It's not only in my eyes, and it's not only the way that I feel about him. This is generally and commonly known. So he's going to pass Tony Shaw and he's going to pass Bucks for games and the amount of games he's captain. But you look at his resume. Premiership tick, Norm Smith tick, six best in, uh, six All-Australians, four times he was also in the squad. Five BNFs, but more than that, he's had another six times that he was in the top two or three. That is incredible. 11 of his 15 years he's been in the top three BNF players. No Brownlow. Okay, so we accept that. No Brownlow, other players have had that. But the one thing that Scott can't, Scott Pendlebury can't control is the mistakes of the umpires. He can't control that. So that is out of his control. He's already the greatest pipe and has been for a period of time. What we're seeing now in the back end of his career is just reiterating that point about why he is so good. He's averaging 25 disposals this year. So he hasn't taken any steps back. He's selfless. He tags the best opposition of the mid, of midfield's opposition player. He's played on the halfback flank. He still has years to go in those old legs of his. Has there ever been a better ambassador, not only of the pies, but of the game of AFL in Australia? Has there? I love it. I love it. He's an outstanding player and he's had a magnificent, highly decorated career. But that's only so far. It is disrespectful to make definitive statements about it in comparison to others until his career is over. When Nick Del Sando was dominating at St Kilda, a lot of people <laughs> thought, this is going to be the greatest saint ever. We had to wait till he finished at St Kilda and then we had to wait until he finished at North Melbourne so we could categorically state that he was, in fact, not the best <laughs> at either of those two clubs. <laughs> and here's the kicker. So Scotty Pendlebury's got a couple of years, maybe three years to go, who knows? What if he was to do something that embarrassed the club or brought the game into disrepute. That would change the whole view, the whole aspect of how he's going to be perceived. So I know he's not going to do something like that and I know he's probably going to be the best. Like Nick Rewalt was at, at St Kilda, like Gary Ablett was at Geelong, like the Chief was at Hawthorne. <laughs> but you can't call it until it's over. Just a little bit of patience, my friend. Just a bit of me time for you over there and a bit of sledging of Nick Del Sando well, over there. I was actually going to ask Jace to keep going. I thought he was going to compliment me and say I was actually a half-decent <laughs> football. But you were. You that, were not, on this show. Not, not on this show. But what I'm saying to you, Chief, is he's already that. And whatever happens from this point onwards is just extending how good he is in front of ah, second and third. In theory, yes. In theory, yes. And I agree with you, mate. And, uh, but you don't know until it's over. And we all know Scott Pendlebury. He's not going to make any mistake. He's only going to add to his resume as the player, but more than that, the person he is outside Until of the game. Until it's done, you can't guarantee it. Already That's all I'm it. saying. Already done it. Congratulations like to Scott Pendlebury, by the yeah, way. A yeah. massive he's week superstar. for him, and he is an undisputed superstar. So, is he the best of all time? That's the crux of this question. 15 top three best and fairest. That's incredible, Dale. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Such a consistent player. 11 of 15. You're saying it's disrespectful, Jason, to make these statements when the career is not done, when we you, don't know what might happen? You've got to compare apples to apples, not apples to oranges. Do you think Ben Cousins <laughs> is the best player at West Coast? No. No, for that reason. Correct. And for that reason, I'm honouring you with this last round because Scott Penderbury's career is not yet done. We don't think he will stuff up. But there's always <laughs> that little chance. So what's the point of having a question if the question isn't relevant? Look at you smirking away over there. <laughs> you had this set up the whole time, you two. Mate, I just go for the side that I'm given and I go hard. That's all from us on the speed round. Hopefully see you again and congratulations, Scott Pendlebury.